Hey everybody, Greg McCoy here uh, with Muscle Nutrition. I'm here for our weekly question and answer video. Um, this week I, I opened the questions up to uh, to the girls out there because uh, the last uh, last two videos have um, all, all been regarding uh, primarily uh, muscle building and, and weight loss for men. So um, I wanted to touch on uh, you know the female side of training um, and, and we got a couple great questions in and um, uh, because there's only two, I'd like to get pretty in depth of them. So this will be a good video uh, for all you girls uh, to learn a little something about your training, diet, cardio, supplementation. So um, let's uh, let's get started. Uh, the first question came from Michelle. Uh, Michelle asks, if I burn 600 calories in the gym, would I still have to eat 1,600 calories to still lose weight, or can I eat 1,200 to 1,300 calories? Um, Michelle, it sounds like you're working off uh, some kind of uh, some kind of formula um, uh, that I'm not sure not sure where you got. Um, if you're burning 600 calories in the gym, um, I, I don't know that uh, there would be a requirement of eating 1,600 calories to lose weight. Um, judging by your height and weight, um, I would say that 1,600 calories is probably on the high side of what you need to be eating. Um, if you, if you can eat 1,600 calories and you're maintaining your weight, uh, you have an excellent metabolism for a woman. That's really good because uh, generally that's, uh, for someone of your stature, that's, uh, that's a pretty high caloric intake. So um, I would recommend, uh, if you're at 1,600 calories now, dropping it down uh, to about 1,300 and, uh, and, and seeing what your weight does. If, if you continue to make progress at 1,300 calories, um, I would just ride that progress t until it stops and, and then make another cut from there. I would not recommend going below a thousand calories by any means, but uh, you, you could definitely lose weight uh, with 1,200 to 1,300 calories. Um, what your calories come from is, is more important than the actual number though. Um, in, in my opinion, the calories in, calories out uh, equation is, is antiquated. I don't think all calories are created equal and uh, what your calories are coming from is more important than the final number so you know for someone uh, of your stature like I said you know I think you need to be getting in uh, around 120 grams of protein per day um, your carbohydrates should stay uh, below 100 um, and, and your healthy fats should should be limited I would say to about 30 grams so you know you can play with the numbers uh, to calculate how many calories that works out to but you know I think starting at the 1300 level um, would be perfect for you um, doing your cardio on an empty stomach or after your workout will make sure that you're burning the calories from body fat not uh, stored muscle glycogen so that's something you can change also so um, I hope that answers your question if it doesn't write it back and uh, we'll, we'll see if we can't get you fixed up um, the next question comes from Zelda uh, Zelda says, I am starting my, my journey to an awesome body. I'm joining a gym today and I'm overwhelmed on where to start. Can you help get me started? That's great news, Zelda. I mean, deciding that you want to lose weight and move forward with a goal um, is obviously step one. And uh, that's, that's super exciting news for you. So yeah, let's, let's, give, you some, uh, let's give you some pointers on, on just getting your foot in the door and where to get started. You know, obviously you've joined a gym, there's uh, a whole lot of equipment that you might not know how to use. Um, you know, there's a million and one diet books out there. Um, let's, just, let's just start with the basics. So, uh, you know, when you go to the gym, you know, for someone that hasn't been working out, I would recommend that you start with uh, three days a week training in the gym. You know, do a total body workout, you know, pick Mm, four or five leg exercises to do. Don't overexert yourself in the beginning. Um, you know, pick one one exercise per upper body muscle group. So do an exercise for your back. Uh, a, I would say two for your shoulders. Probably a press, which will hit all three heads of the shoulder, and a fly movement, which will help give you a little added size to your delts and give you the the V taper that most girls are going for. Um, a bicep movement, a tricep movement, and uh, your abdominals. Um, and I just released a, uh, a blog post on musclenutrition.us uh, on ab training, so check, make sure and check that out. Um, but yeah, start with three days a week in the gym. 
I would say you could go up to four or five days of, uh, of cardio. Um, and it doesn't have to be anything intense. You know, you, you can burn a lot of body fat at 130 beats a minute, which uh, is a, a relatively uh, leisurely walk. Um, you know, you can count your heart rate or wear a monitor. But yeah, around 130 beats a minute, if you could do 30 minutes a day of walking, that's going to make a huge difference right from the go. And it's, you know, it's as simple as uh, taking a walk. It doesn't even have to be done in the gym. You can do it outside or if you have dogs, walk the dogs for 30 minutes a day. And that would be an awesome start for you. Um, nutrition is, is, you know, I would say 75% of it though. Um, you're going to be one of getting, getting in lean protein, which will help you build muscle um, and start losing body fat. Um, it's, it's oftentimes hard for, for girls and for anybody to get the right amount of protein in. So I recommend a whey protein isolate product. Um, I recommend isolate protein because it's got no fat, no sugar, and no carbs. It's only absorbable protein. Um, you know, do about a scoop and a half, you know, two to even three times per day. Um, I would recommend doing it. You can do it as a meal replacement or in between meals usually works the best because you can still get your three square meals in and add in two, maybe three shakes a day. Um, when you're eating, you know, you want to limit your protein to lean protein sources. So um, egg whites, uh, chicken, fish, um, lean red meat. Um, and that's, that's really it. If it eats, if it swims, flies or runs eat it and if it doesn't do not that's the simple you know simple guide to weight loss um, and, and when you eat some carbohydrates I'd recommend you know in the beginning staying away from fruit because of all the natural sugars um, complex carbohydrates like oatmeal brown rice sweet potatoes staple bodybuilding foods um, will keep your insulin levels down and help you lose weight and I would limit your fat intake uh, you know to maybe one or two meals so uh, maybe with one or two of your meals you have a, a quarter cup of almonds or um, two ounces of avocado. Um, getting your, those fat sources will um, keep your hormone levels right and, and you'll be able to burn fat for fuel by, by taking some in. So um, I hope that helps, helps you get started. If you have any questions, you know, the Muscle Nutrition Facebook page is, uh, is your resource. Um, for great products and uh, great advice so you know we'll do these uh, Q&A videos every week so if you guys have questions uh, make sure that you write in to the Facebook page of Muscle Nutrition and I will try to answer your question at some point thank you guys